it's Ruby Rags World of Dolls, and welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that all is well, fantastic, and fabulous your way. Here in Ruby Rags World of Dolls today, we have two new dolls that I am so excited to open and share with you guys. Um, if you did not watch my haul video, this made to move doll my daughter picked up for me from one of her targets. Um, this doll is available right now on the Target site for $14.99. She's quite beautiful. She right now is the only one that's showing up. Hopefully the other four, the other three in this collection will show up real soon. I'm hoping, but right now it's just her. So we're going to unbox her in this, um, in this video. And then Fashionista number 163. He is so handsome. And I'm so glad to have him. I ordered him from Amazon.com. I ordered one. He got lost in shipping. I don't know what happened to him. But they refunded me my money. I ordered another one. And he came immediately. But he is so handsome. And this is also a new face mold. And he is on the slim body. So we're going to get him unboxed. And we're going to look at him and check them out up close and in detail um there aren't a lot of fashionistas and i'm just doing this for you all that maybe this is your first time seeing it you got to assume that some people haven't because sometimes you guys ask questions to make me think that you don't you're not keeping up with it but these are the fashionistas that are available right now in the new wave and they're all pretty fabulous i must say that i like them all not sure if I'll get them all. Now, I do want her. I had the opportunity twice to get her, and I passed it up. But my local Walmart will get her in again. I'm sure they will. It's like I told you guys on my previous haul video. My Barbie section in my local Walmart is like a ghost town. I mean, it, it, the shelves are empty. And that's to be expected right after the holidays. So... We're going to get these dolls out of the packaging and look at them up close and in detail and see what they're all about. Let's start with this handsome guy right here, number 163. Now, as you can see, the packaging is new and we are all excited about it. You have a reusable bag here that you can save for storage. You can put the doll back in it if you want. You can put other dolls in it. If you are a collector that travels with your dolls, and a lot of you do because I see your fabulous pictures on Instagram where you take your dolls to different places, these are very good travel bags for that. All right, this is supposed to slide right out. I'm not sure. Okay, so once you take the doll out of the bag, this is what you got. You got a nice, attractive bag, as you can see. It still has the Barbie logo there on the front. And, and they're really nice bags. Really, really nice bags. I'm going to place that there. And then here is the um, actual card. And you can remove, you can pull this off, and I will be, like I did with the others. Mine's kind of bent up um, and safe for collector cards, if you like. I mean, isn't he handsome? His picture is even handsome. This is a handsome doll. I tell you, he is. And then you've got the card here. I've seen so many collectors, um, YouTubers, collectors, use the scraps. There are so many creative people. They use these scraps or extra paper from the packaging to make awesome backdrops and different things. So some people are very creative with this stuff. All right, and then here he is, and I got to find the scissors so that we can get him free from the box. I'm, usually, they're just in there, but he's in here. Yeah, he slipped in there. Usually, with the cans, though, they usually are just sliding out. All right, so there's his packaging. All right, and here he is with his handsome self. He is so handsome. And yes, he's on the slim, he's on the slim body, meaning he is the small guy. Um, someone asked me on Instagram, was he petite? And you know, the guys are not petite, they're slim. The girls are petite, but he is of the slim body. And he does have a new head mold. It says Mattel, 2020 Mattel. So this is a new head mold. All right, so look at him. He has dimples. He has these beautiful light brown eyes i mean he's just a handsome guy love those dark eyebrows i even love his molded on hair 
he has a side part there. He's just handsome. I'm just giving him a spin so you guys can check him out. He's just handsome. All right, so his ensemble, I like it. But, of course, everything is printed on. But this is meant to be one of those... um like wind bake breakers i guess you call them i used to own one of these and so did my brothers you had the front pocket where you could put stuff in and be hands free and they were really nice they were very popular i wonder why they um i don't even know if they still make them but i remember having a blue one i also remember my daughter having these as well and she had a blue one as well that matched everything and she wore that thing out but these are really really nice it velcros here in the back i love the different colors they call it color blocking i love it and then i like the v-neck that it has here and i mean he's just so handsome and even though the design is printed on it's printed on really nicely and the material is really nice material as well then of course you know he's got to have on shorts these are his shorts and they Velcro there in the back. And they are kind of a thick like material. And then here are his uh, sock shoes that they're not white. They're like an off white. And a lot of people hate them. They hate these sock shoes. They hate these shoes with the socks on them. And I have a fashion pack that has these. So I do have another um, set of these shoe, sock shoes. But um, I've seen some very creative people cut the socks off and repaint the shoes. So, you know, if that's your thing, go for it. I don't have the patience for that. <laughs> so, but, you know, they're okay for me. I mean, they're okay. I think they suit his style. I really, really do. And, you know, he has the basic five points of articulation. You know, his head, his head tilts and turns a lot, though. A lot more than most of my kids. So, he can look down. He can look up, and we know he can turn from side. He can, I mean, he just can do a lot of posing. You see the arms go out. They go forward and back, of course. And, of course, he has articulation at the hip. Can't put his leg out too far because his shorts kind of fitting him real good. But I'm really glad to have him. And I'll probably order another one just because he's so unique and I like him like I did with Terrence back there. You know, sometimes they make dolls that are just so unique that you want to have another just to have another. Because I'm probably going to rebody him. And we don't have any slim made-to-move cans. And, you know, I wonder will we ever get one, you know, because... Seems like the only way we would get one is if somebody decided to have mercy on us adult doll collectors because we know that the kids aren't interested in that. But for those of you that want to know, this is Charles and he is the other rooted hair, um, rooted, rooted hair kin from the previous, um, fashionista line. If whose body he matches now, he is on the recent. Um, made to move wheelchair can so it's a pretty good match you can see them side by side there so that's a pretty good match so if you're interested in which body matches him that would be the body yes i'm loving charles i always like this doll i think i have like three of him because i found him on clearance and i couldn't leave him in the store I mean, when you can find these dolls for $2, you know, as a Barbie collector, you just hate not getting them. But um, Charles is quite lovely. And I got one with some really nice hair. So he does match that, um, the wheelchair can body. All right. And then up next, we have the beautiful new made to move. Loving her yogurt outfit. I like her face mold too. Um, we know that the made-to-move dolls are never going to be the fancy um, faces that just blow out at you, you know, just pop out at you. We're just not going to get that. But here is the packaging. You have her in different poses. And then here on the back, you got more poses of the doll. And then we have pictures of the other dolls. I really, really am excited about the curvy girl. You know, we're always going to get Miss Fabulous Barbie. And then we have this girl here, and her face mold is not new. I don't. I think I've seen this doll's face mold before, but I'm probably gonna collect all of them because I do like collecting the yogurt, 
the yoga dolls with the made to moves i really do so let's go ahead and unbox her get her out of this packaging to see this girl up close and in detail all right so let's snip her free I love the skin tone I must say I really love the skin tone I don't know I wanted to see how close she was to yellow top I, I they're not the same they're not the same that's for sure all right and then she's got these snip ties of course one of them was already loose so that's great all right girl got you free from your packaging now you can get another pose all right so here she is and she is quite beautiful i seen someone's picture of this doll restyled in a oh my goodness a sunday best outfit she was wearing the sharpest um hat and outfit and i at first when i looked at the doll i said oh my god that is a beautiful doll and I realized that it was this doll here. It was the yoga doll. And she is beautiful. I love how they enhanced her eyes there. Like they gave her eyeliner. I really like that. I really like that. I love the skin tone. I love the hair. Her hair has, um, it's dark brown with another color brown in the, um, as highlights there. And you see it's pulled to the side. She has a little side part there. And her hair seems to be really, seems to be pretty thick, but you never know until you take it apart and start combing it how thick it is. And let's talk about this yoga outfit. It is probably the best one that, in my opinion, that they have made yet. All right, so we don't have Velcro on it. This is how it looks in the back. I really, really like this design, but here it is in the back. You got the V neck, the V back there, and you got these two straps. And I guess you could wear this off the shoulder if you want it. However you decide. And then check out the pants. I love those colors. I love those blues and purples and turquoise colors. I really like them. She is a very fabulous doll. I really, really like her a lot. I like her. And we know that she's made to move. We know she can do all kinds of things. We guys, we know what girlfriend can do, and she's just gorgeous. I know that some, I said that I wanted to compare her to Yellow Top, so I'm going to see if I can't get Yellow Top for some of you, because I know some of you are going to want to know um, how she compares to Yellow Top. So let me get my Yellow Top. All right, so here is Miss Yellow Top, and she is a, um, she is a nurse and she works she works in pediatrics she works with the babies so she's just um getting off work and we're bothering her but here is the um comparison and in my opinion just looking at them side to side side by side there really isn't much difference um the new made to move oh lord look at him causing problems the new made to move might be a little darker she might be a little shade darker but not much there is a subtle difference there though guys there is a little bit but not a lot so for those of you that wanted to know and now you know all right young man you causing ruckus over there but there isn't a lot of difference but there is the comparison i don't know how much it shows up there really isn't much <laughs> But they are two different face tone, face molds, that's for sure. This one here is definitely one of my favorites. I have used her um, on a few of my um, body swaps. But again, I love the face mold. So, of course, I had to make sure that I had one that was not going to be rebodied. So, and that's her. I love her hairstyle. I have never changed her hair. I love the hair color on Yellow Top. And Yellow Top is still available um, 
for the regular price on Amazon. So if you're looking for her, she's still available. And here is the new Made to Move. And I really, really like my new additions to my collection. Look at you old. Look at him. He is so handsome. Guys, you got to get him. He, You got to get him. I mean, he is so handsome. I'm just liking these new Kens in the new wave. And I'm loving the new fashion packs that are um, being released. There are so many. I can hardly keep up with them. Um, everyone is sharing their pics of their finds on Instagram. And there are so many that I don't have that you know I have to get. And again, like I said, I'm hoping that with my Walmart's shelves being so empty in the Barbie aisle that I'm going to walk in the store one day soon and they're going to have it flooded with all of the new fashion packs and the new fashionistas. But, you know, I've got most of the fashionistas that I want. I'm probably going to end up getting all of them because I do like this new, um, this release, new released wave. And um, I just enjoy playing with my dolls and, you know, just collecting them. You know, a lot, a lot of people are saying that they wish that Mateo, and I do too, I wish Mateo would blow us away. Um, I had mentioned to you guys that I was told that they had canceled the release of the third wave of BMR, but then some people are saying that they haven't. Some are saying they haven't, some saying they have, but, you know, I guess we'll have to wait and see. I'm very excited about the Maya Angelou doll. I am so excited. And then I'm also, you know, I, we're supposed to be getting more inspiring women um, like Michelle Obama. Um, I even heard about Whitney Houston. That's just two that popped right off my um, off my memory. <laughs> but I'm going to get them all. Whenever they're released, I'm adding them to my collection. That is for sure. I'm just trying to make the best of a sticky situation guys because we are in a sticky situation and my dolls do that for me they honestly do and I really really enjoy them so looking forward to new things and new stuff coming out you know gives me joy and something to look forward to outside of all the st other stuff that we have to face you know guys I just remembered who I think this face mold of this doll is do you guys remember when they released um one of the careers and they were the um they weren't the scientists they were I cannot but I'm sure you guys know who I'm talking about. I want to say I think it's this same doll but just in a darker skin tone because I do have her but I don't have her on hand um because they came in four different skin tones and um she was a lighter of a skin tone, but I believe they have the same face mold. She was like the computer tech. She was something. She was something dealing with robotics or something, and it was one of the top um, careers. So if you can think of that doll's, what doll I'm talking about, and I know some of you out there know, just an artistry, I guarantee you, you know, he is so smart. He knows all of the Barbie releases, doll names, doll molds. So I'm thinking that that is going to be the same face mold that the new Mate to Move doll here has. Not that it makes a difference, but some people like to know that. And, you know, and I'm thinking that it is. I don't have her on hand, but I do have her in my collection. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that you enjoyed the um, reviews. Um, if I didn't cover something you wanted to know, you know, all you got to do is hit me in the comments below and I will do my best to answer whatever question you may have. Guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram. I am Ruby Rad's World of Dolls there. Continue being awesome, fantastic, and fabulous. And I will see you awesome people in my next video.